So, welcome everybody to my first session of taking the Discord out of Discord. So this is session, I almost said season one, because we're like doing so many seasons, you guys. This is session one, and we're going to do some basic navigate, like literal basic navigation, and we're going to do some profile setup. So if you are new to Discord, this is a great place for you to be. Even if you've used it and you're kind of like, eh, I just kind of like log into places and dabble and like I get confused and then I would just want to like, you know, tap out and like call it a night. That's okay. A lot of us are going through it. Everybody here I know is from the NFT space and a lot of us probably were kind of like thrown to the wolves <laughs> and uh, really dove into the deep end of Discord, especially if we joined via v friends. Um, that was hugely shocking for me. I don't know if it was for anybody else. Um, and guys, feel free to, um, you know, keep the flow of convo if you want to jump in and talk. That's totally fine here. Um, you know, share your experiences. That's fine. Uh, but I remember when I joined the vFriends Discord, I was like, holy smokes, like this thing is going wild. Like the text would like, and you know, when Gary like jumps into the room, it would fly. And then it makes you just want to like, whew, go get, grab a drink or something and then like log out for the day. Um, and then what I started to to see in the space was that every single NFT project started launching Discord, Discord, Discord. And then they would get like really huge. And it became about padding numbers and just getting people in no matter what. There was no soft, you know, onboarding. There was no like hand holding a little bit. It was just kind of, hey, come in, learn this project and meet a bunch of people. Um, and while we were lucky enough to meet a lot of really, really great people, there were also some of some bots that came in, lots of big scammers, you know, when the projects start to get really, really big and wild and big money, you know, all, it invites scammers in. And then you get people who are kind of just like there to not really be friends and be, you know, quote unquote community members, but they really just, there's, there's, they want more out of it, right? They're not there to build um, relationships. And so it kind of, um, I, I, it, I, it made me feel a certain way, um, you know, just to kind of back up, um, some people already heard this, but my background with Discord started when I was gaming, playing World of Warcraft. Um, myself and 12 other uh, guild masters, we ran the largest North American guild in the United States, and it was called Mature Content. And um, what was really unique about our guild is that we were across 12 different servers um, and so just like think of it as 12 different discords, but kind of but in a video game world. Right. So or maybe we'll call it metaverses since we're all kind of in meta metaverses. So um, we were across 12 different metaverses and every single um, little house that we had was the home for 1000 um, little little pixel characters. Right. And that really equated to about four to five, four to seven hundred actually um, unique individuals. And about half of those people would join our Discord server. So imagine like 700 people times 12, right? I mean, that's kind of like highballing it, but we had that many people in and out of our Discord like <laughs> every single day. And um, what we used to do is we used to bring people in and we, we brought them to the landing pad and we would welcome them in. And a lot of, you know, Discord was very, very new, probably about like eight years ago, um, even actually little bit earlier than that probably about six years ago it was really really brand new and so people were kind of skeptical they didn't really want to use it a lot of people like anonymity so they don't like to get into voice chats and that's really what discord was primarily used for was voice chat so we would all get into a voice chat and everybody was kind of like oh what do i do right um so it you know we, it was really important for us that people felt very comfortable so you want to bring people in, you want to make them feel very comfortable in their own skin. And we would teach people basic functions like, all right, first thing you need to know is you need to get your headset. So for anybody here, it's OK if you do not have a headset. Um, that is completely fine. Sorry if you're looking at my screen because I'm like doing nothing. <laughs> um, you know, if um, we would would get people, you know, log into the headset, would make sure their microphones worked and then we'd walk them through every single channel. So I know, short story long, I just wanted to give you a little bit of background from where I came from, because the most fulfilling thing for me for being um, a guild master was bringing new people in and teaching them like how cool things can be instead of like how daunting it can be. And so that's why I am here tonight. 
uh, because I know that there are a lot of people who feel kind of, you know, like they were thrown into the deep end of Discord and really didn't get so much as a, hey, welcome, you know, this is really great and here's how you utilize it. Because I'll tell you, um, NFT Discord is a heck of a lot different than um, gaming Discord in certain ways. I like the gaming Discord a little bit better. It feels a little more homey and warm to me, but, um, you know, we're going to make it better. And that's where we start here. So thank you, everybody, for joining tonight. I really appreciate you taking your time out of a Friday night. We're going to try to keep this to an hour. I'm sure that we will. Um, this is really super basic Discord 101. Um, in fact, um, Pamela was in here earlier with me. <clears throat> and uh, there was a change. And I was like, oh, uh, how do I change my nickname? So the first thing I'd like everybody to do is, um, if by the way, I am doing this on PC. So um, is everybody here on PC? I know, I know um, Alyssa's not. Who else is on PC that's in this room right now? Feel free to like unmute and say it. It's all good. Or can you not unmute? Oh my God, are you guys not allowed to speak when I'm streaming? No, we can unmute. Oh shoot, I got scared. So who else is on PC? Also, if you'd like to use the training chat, you can use that too. If you'd rather not speak, you can also, also type it in training chat. Created it just for us. I'm on PC. You're on PC, perfect. Anybody else on PC? All right, well, here's the cool thing about PC. Or really any just it's easier to do this on PC than it is on mobile. I use mobile almost for every single thing. So for me to be on PC right now on Discord is a true miracle. So you're welcome. <laughs> but um, the cool thing about it is um, there, you have two different profiles and you may not realize that. So if you are on PC and you left click your name and you see the little box that popped up right now on my screen, <clears throat> you can edit your profile. Okay. Now, when you click this little pencil looking thing here, it's gonna give you two things, two, um, two uh, oh my God, I can't think of words. <laughs> you can, there's, there's two selections available. You can edit your server profile or your, oh, hey, little emoji, or you can edit your user profile. Now your user profile is your full entire Discord profile. That means whatever name you have in that user profile is the name people are gonna see you at regardless. You could be idle, you could be not in a server, they're gonna see you for that name no matter what. Now, a lot of us, we are in multiple hundreds, I might, might say, hundreds of Discord servers. And maybe people know you as different names throughout the servers, or you might want people to know you for different things throughout the servers. That is where you would go to edit your server profile. So hopefully this is not super uber basic. I learned something new today because it was not the same as when a, oh gosh darn it, go away. Um, it used to be a little bit different for me. So I practiced right here. You just want to highlight where it says nickname. And I put Sarah Wolfakin Jones here, okay? So you can type in your name, um, you can edit your picture, all that other stuff. But right now we would just want to change your nickname and save changes. And when you close out of it, look who I am now, people. I'm Sarah Mope Walking Jones. The cool thing about this is, um, you know, you may see people that have like uh, boss babes, NFT and stuff by their names but that name doesn't carry over into other servers. It's because they name themselves specific to every server that they're in. Now, when I was in gaming, if you had a lot of different characters with different names, it came in super handy because if you were in different guilds with, um, with different Discord servers, you could easily change your name and people would never get confused. They'd say, all right, cool. Like you're Joe Schmo. That's really great. Now I know who you are in game. So it's really, really convenient. So feel free to take a, take a couple moments now if you want to mess around with it if you want to change up your name if you want to keep it the way it is that's cool too but i want you to feel really comfortable and not um that you're being rushed to have to um to not be able to participate in these things that we're doing right now i don't want you all to feel like you have to sit back and watch everything that i'm doing this is totally you know play around that's what discord is for so that's step one so while we're at it I have streamer mode enabled, which means you can't see all my private stuff. That sounds really awkward coming out of my mouth right now. Um, so if you saw my little cogwheel, I just scrolled down to the bottom. In fact, here, let me 
let me do a better job, Sarah Jones. If you go down to um, user settings, scroll all the way down, click the little cog, and now you're at your main account settings screen. This is going to be super, super important for you as you go through Discord, especially in NFT Discord. For something that I do not really like or totally agree with, but I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway. You probably already have it done. Anyway, I have streamer mode enabled. That means you're not seeing any of my account information. So as I'm clicking through these, you're gonna say, oh my God, I can't see anything. It's cause I, cause I don't want you seeing my stuff, okay? So very important, privacy and safety. And by the way, anybody chime in and, and raise your hands like I can see them. Chime in at any time if you have any questions. If you're like, you're so su super freaking boring, tell me that too. I'll stop. We can move on to something else. If you have specific questions as we're going on, feel free to stop me. Do not feel like embarrassed or feel like you're interrupting. This is for you. And I want to make it as personable and, and customizable for you. I want you to feel like you're getting something out of this. And again, thank you because I really enjoy doing this kind of stuff. So this makes me happy. All right, so we're at privacy and safety and you can see my settings right now. Um, safe direct messaging. What does everybody tell you every time you join an NFT uh, Discord? Anyone? Feel free to jump in. What do they tell you to do? To turn off your DMs. That's right, that's right. And the reason they tell you to turn off your DMs is to avoid scams. Now, Sarah Jones does not agree with that. <laughs> I, I have a, I have kind of a problem when people do that. Look, if you want to turn off the turn off DMs, that is totally fine. The reason I do not do it, there's two reasons. One, as a community manager and a and Discord owners, I have I'm, I own like own, I run multiple Discords. It's very, it's very challenging to get, I don't want to be inaccessible to people. So if somebody needs me for anything, if somebody needs help, if they just have questions, I want somebody to be able to, to message me at any time. Um, so I keep my DMs open at all times. Now, if I do happen to get a scam or if I get a message from somebody I'm unfamiliar with, the very, very first thing that I do when I open that message is I look to see what mutual servers we have in common. And the reason I do that is because I want to make sure that this person isn't just reaching out to me because they're some rando, which they still could be if they're in another server, but I don't want it to just be some, some like random bot that just joins, you know, discord and is just messaging people, mass, mass messages. Um, if I am not a member of a server with any of these people, I will not, I will not accept their message. In fact, I'll report, report and block them. Um, if they send me a friend request, I will not accept their friend request either. So those are just some basic things to know, you know, if you get weird weirdo messages from people who don't share a server with you, chances are they're probably here for malicious reasons. Um, use your own, um, use your own, uh, why, why are my words failing me? I didn't have enough freaking caffeine. Um, just be cautious, basically. For anybody that plays Apex Legends, I'm pretty sure I just turned into the female version of Mirage who can't think of words. I'm super good at this. Um, the reason why, again, you know, with the DMs, um, what's really important to me is that when you are aware of somebody who is kind of scammy who sends you a DM, I will open it and then you will be able to... Um, Discord is getting smart, by the way. So the more we, re we report issues to them, the smarter they get and they can build... It can build the mechanisms within Discord to make it safer for us automatically. Um, that doesn't mean we can't just, we have to like, we still have to be on our toes. We still have to be ready and we still have to, you know, read things and be very, very cautious. But the difference is we're taking our power back and we are individually becoming more aware of how to prevent crappy things from happening to us instead of just turning things off, right? So again, if we get... Um, going back here i'm sorry guys I'm, I'm taking left and right turns so kind of just bear with me here um when you get a direct message from somebody that's a scammer you have the ability to report a spam which you 100 percent want to do because that information goes over to discord and then they will record it and they will be on the lookout for that person the more people that report that same individual for for doing scammy behaviors they're going to get kicked out of the server and they will be out um 
you know, they can they can make multiple accounts, but the more times they do those same things and we get smarter and we start reporting them as spam and then we block the users, they're gonna stop doing it eventually. So in my opinion, that's the best way to do it. So, uh, sorry, here we are, privacy and safety. I just wanna give you my rationale. I mean, obviously proceed however, however you feel comfortable with. And, um, food, oh, sorry, sorry, and my food's here from DoorDash, enjoy. <laughs> Just proceed with caution no matter what so in order to turn your dms off you want to you want to go to this top one that says uh hold on no no no, my bad so you can keep me safe scan direct messages from everybody that's just gonna you know weed out any explicit content i say the f-bomb a lot i'm not gonna I'm not gonna prevent people from saying the f-bomb to me that's cool um but I do have uh, my friends are nice scan direct messages from everyone unless they are a friend. So I'm going to tell you another little story. The reason I, I do have this scanned and I don't know what everybody else's settings are. Feel free to go into your settings and change some things now. Um, the the really disgusting, ugly part of gaming that people really probably don't talk about is um, when you are a woman gamer and there are there are boys. I don't even want to call them men when there are boys and they they recognize that they suddenly think that that means um our dms are open to receive disgusting pictures disgusting pictures um and that's a whole other story but that's a big reason why i have all of my things scanned before i get a message because i do not want that content at all um it's pretty disgusting um now going down to server privacy defaults allow direct message from server members I have that on because I want to allow direct messages so for those of you who would like to turn off your DMS you have to just simply click there and it's going to tell you do you want to apply this change to all your existing servers blah 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 so I'm gonna say no because I'm actually gonna turn this back on ha <laughs> uh, okay great so is everyone is everyone good with that? Do you guys know how to like, you probably already have your settings set up. Please feel free to like talk. I don't, I don't, I don't want you to feel like I'm, well, I don't want to feel like I'm talking to myself, but I want you guys to feel like, you know, I'm not like a boring ass. So feel free to jump in anytime. <laughs> but if anybody has difficulty with that, please let me know. And then um, you can go through obviously all of these other settings. Um, what's really important too is um, if you do now the other thing that I hear in a lot of the um, NFT servers is um, make sure you have people add you as friends now I'll be honest I do not want to have every Tom Dick and Harry as my friend in every single discord that I'm in it's just it's too much that's another reason why it's more convenient for me <laughs> as well to keep my DMs open because I don't want people adding me as friends because what's starting to happen is I'll share servers with people they obviously want to reach out to you for something, right? Um, maybe they want to send you a scammy link. I don't know. But then they'll add you as a friend. So that's, a, and then, you know, if again, if it's somebody that I don't recognize or I have not engaged with at any, at any point in time, I will not approve their friend request. So just make sure you're kind of aware of that as things happen. Um, I would highly recommend or discourage you actually from um, approving friend requests from people you don't know. So just keep that in mind. Um, so who can add you as a friend? I don't want everyone adding me, so I have that marked off. Um, friends of friends, I have that grayed out. I don't want people to add me who are friends of friends because that's how trolls happen. Um, server members, now here's something that I have turned on so that uh, if I do happen to share a server with somebody, which really, came in handy on vaginas because when I was sending out POAPs, there were a lot of people who had their DMs off. I unfortunately could not send them their POAP links unless they um, friended me. So it's kind of like, you know, depending on what you want in life of Discord, um, you know, if you have your DMs turned off, it's going to prevent you from receiving little things like POAPs and stuff, unless you're obviously friends with somebody. But thank you very much for those who did add me. I'm grateful that you trust me. I promise you I'm not going to send you any scammy, mixed scammy stuff. Um, I will send you POAP links and maybe a little hug or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is why I have this turned on here because I do have my DMs turned on, but also I am willing to accept friend requests from server members. 
allow friends to join your game. I don't really know what any of this stuff is. Um, I would just kind of like read it whenever you want, um, depending on how you want to utilize it. So, oh, I know why it's because I'm in streamer mode, some of these weird things. So you may not have these. Anybody have these but me? But anyways, that's about it. Um, those are like the major ones I would say from privacy and safety. Does anybody have like any questions at all about privacy and, and safety? through discord no well great then all right um i'm just gonna go through each one yeah i don't have discord nitro okay guys i'm like too cheap all right so all of this stuff the billing settings those are you know look at them at your at your convenience um that's all your personal information um here's where it gets kind of cool so you may have noticed that my desktop is in dark mode because my eyes are extremely sensitive. So right here in appearance, this is where you can turn dark, light, which I'm freaking blinded right now. Um, I'm going to take it back to dark. Sync with computer. I don't really know what that is. I probably just broke something. Not really sure. Um, but I'm going to go back to keeping it at dark mode. I don't know what the dark sidebar is, but why don't we, well, it won't let me click it, so we won't do that. But this is really cool because at the top, it'll show you like how, ugh, we're blinded again, but it'll show you how, it, how it'll look. And I think actually it does default to light, but I'm not sure. Does anybody else use like dark or light or do you have a preference? And feel free to go into your settings now and play with this. We're like not in a rush. I know we're gonna like probably stop like right before eight but I want everybody to feel like they can kind of like at their leisure, go into these little things that we're doing and um, go ahead and make your changes. And if you have any bumps in the road, just, you know, ask anybody in the room, ask me, we'll walk through it together. Is everybody here? Hi, Sarah. Hi, who's this? Sorry, I'm not this looking. This is Billy. Billy! Hey. Welcome. Thank welcome you. welcome can you hear me okay i can hear you perfect all right i when you asked if anyone had any questions i did but i was in oh. a bad service area so well what's your question home skill don't be sorry what's up <laughs> um and well i'm gonna say sorry because i probably missed the answer to this That's but fine. When the, whole, the whole thing with like missing oh my gosh i'm sorry i can hear myself talking right now and it's Oh no, I wonder if it's yet. my fault. No, I, it's probably me. <laughs> Anyways, I'll try and concentrate here while I'm listening. Here, I'll mute. Uh, so when it comes to leaving your DMs off to, you know, just for your protection scammers and whatnot, but then when you say leave the server setting, like accept DMs from server members, is that anybody in the entire server? Like, let's say, let's say you ran a server community of like a thousand people. Anybody in that community can DM you. That's right. Yep. Okay. Yep. And how do you how do you protect against like the scammers and the people who don't have you know they they have ill will ill intentions. Do you just only accept friend fights from the people that you directly know? For the most part, I mean, um, so mostly it got me into the habit is when I was in gaming because every member, you know, wants to be your friend. Now, the reason I did that also old school was, um, and I don't know if it's the same now, but um, if you if you accepted somebody as your friend, that meant they could video call you. And so what would happen is there would be like people trying to scam you with video calls. And that happens also. Um, so I would be very particular. Um, I will, ex it, it depends. Like I, I will approve people as my friend if I've engaged with them at some point. Um, they can send me requests. Doesn't mean I have to approve them. So, some I like let sit. Like I'll let requests sit and sit and sit, and then I will actually research the person. Um, so what I actually do to kind of prevent myself from getting scammed too, 
is um, somebody will send me a friend request. If I'm like, hmm, I don't really remember engaging with them. I look at their profile, look at what servers we share. And then what I do is I go up. In fact, I'll show you. I'll show you. Ha ha. How convenient. Um, I'll go into a search bar and I'll go to the from. Does everyone see what I'm doing? I'll go to the front. Well, you probably can't because you're driving, but this is recorded. Um, and I'll say, okay, what did Billy see? All right. Well, you didn't message me there. God damn it. But <laughs> so um, let's see. From user. You can look me up if you want. Oh, let me see. Uh, who was that? Was that you, Celia? I don't know. Oh, no. you know why? Hold on. I'll go into a general chat. This is what I'll do. I'll go into the general chat and I'll put from user. I'm just going to put Celia in here when I can spell her name right. Well, nothing's showing up, which is weird. Um, and I wonder if it's because I'm streaming, but I'll go into the search bar and I'll search up the person's name and I'll see if the person's like a valid person. That means I like, I look to see if they, you know, make, you know, um, if they talk a lot in the server, if they don't have a lot, it probably means the person's probably either trolling or, you know, they might think that your profile picture is super cute and they want you as their friend. And then I will just totally ignore it. I just like let it sit there. I'm sorry. I know that was long winded, Billy. <laughs> did I even answer your question? <laughs> yeah, you totally did. Um, I am so thrown off by <laughs> listening to myself talk. You know, I, I feel like maybe very well. You know, I think it's a me problem. Honestly, I think it's maybe because I'm streaming um, from my computer and it might actually be in two different places. Oh, gosh. You, yeah, you did answer the question, though. Thank you. Yeah, um, no problem. It's, it's funny. Like, I'm my discord skills are very weak. That's why I'm here. So thank you. But um, it's still interesting to see how far we've come. I remember the first time I got on discord it was like the first week. I was getting DMs from people, and one of them, oh, someone wants to be a friend. And I just answered, and it was literally a video call that I wasn't even expecting. And it was like some guy and some girl, and they didn't even say anything. I was like, oh, I, what's going on? They just kind of were like whispering to each other, looking at me, and I'm like, okay, this is weird. Goodbye. Yeah, that's so. So that's the crazy thing. If you start approving people as your friends and they're kind of like randos and you you think, oh, well, because I share a server now, like I'm really specific. Like I, I allow people to, to add me as a friend, but I'm not going to approve it. Like I'll do that research on you. If you haven't spoken to me, if I don't have any like messages from you or if you're just kind of like a, a weirdo, like when somebody adds you to a friend, they get more access to you so they can like video call you and do weird things like that. And and. I've actually heard people get scammed or getting dosed, getting like completely booted out of their system from weirdos who've done video calls when you add them as a friend. So that's something that you should also be wary of, especially in the NFT space. I don't know if people have done that, to be honest. I haven't heard anything like that, but it could be super, super weird. So, you know, I'd almost rather have my DMs open because I can at least, um, you know, block those mofos down the line. So there, haha. So that was a good question. Does anybody else have any other um, questions? Am I like boring you to death? Are you falling asleep? I don't know any stand up, so you're kind of stuck with me. Well, you can leave, of course, but you know. All right. Wide awake. Wide awake. Very we're good. Not, we're not falling asleep. We're loving it. It's amazing. Uh, Keep going. I Thanks. love you. And I'm sorry if everybody's echoey. That's probably something on my end, and I'm not really... I, I probably have to fix it. It might be like an output setting, and I apologize. Um, all right. So appearance-wise, yeah, go ahead and, and fix your appearances. If you want it cozy, modern, and beautiful and easy on your eyes, of course, that's what I picked because, you know, I, like, need my eyes to be happy. If you want compact, I don't know. Ooh, like, this is what it'll look like. It'll take away people's like faces but it'll make it a lot you know easier do you see the difference up top here so here's cozy modern beautiful oh yay emojis and faces and here's compact i really just want the time and the person and the freaking text thanks bye so pick pick whatever makes your heart happy 
everything else um if you have super bad eyes feel free to make uh you know all right i'm not gonna mess with it now but feel free to make the font as big as you need to because listen as you age large print for easier reading is a thing make that font bigger baby go for it um this is where you kind of zoom everything and make all your changes here i highly encourage you like mess around with it if you if you plan on being on discord a lot make it an easier experience for yourself these are the ways that you can do it and a lot of people i don't think kind of dive in they just kind of like join a discord and they're like all right here i am -doo -doo, and they just kind of like leave stuff but i feel like we have gotten a lot better as time has gone on because we've gotten smarter because sometimes we gotta learn by getting effed over <laughs> to make some changes right all right um accessibility it gives you an idea of how things are gonna look saturation level all your colors links um i definitely don't mess around with this i think this might be at my default now some people have computers that might be like you know as old as a tyrannosaurus rex and that is okay um i used to have a computer that used to sound like it was going to blast off to the moon and the way I, I would still be able to use discord but it was very very hard to because it took up a lot of bandwidth and i had to do whatever i could to make it work faster and the way to do that is to disable things like this play gifs i mean this is probably not the biggest thing that's going to make a big game changer to your discord but the the more you disable animated things or things that you know like videos and stuff like that the smoother your discord experience is going to be so i do want that back um, but this is here this is where you would control a uh, lot control that <clears throat> again stickers they didn't have stickers um back in like the gaming day so this is like totally cool and new um this is another thing that's going to save your computers just a smidge you can have it always animate it will default to always animate if you don't want it to do that or if you want it to only animate when you click on it this is what you want here or if you're like, you know what? A sticker shouldn't be animated. It's a goddamn sticker and it should just be slapped there and it shouldn't move. Then you select never animate and life is good. I'm going to keep it animated. Although my computer gave me problems today. I don't know. I might have to change these settings later. Does someone have a question? No? Okay. I, might, I just switched over to the computer. Oh, there you go. I am mic you sound Sorry. fabulous. Thank you. All right. So um, let's see. Um, allow playback and uses of TT. I don't really use any of these commands. These are, again, all these defaults. But this is one of these things that, you know, when you get a chance, you look through it and life is good. Now, voice and video. This is where the fun happens. So, okay. So if you guys want to look at your voice settings right now, obviously you know how to use a, a headset and microphone. So God bless America. Yeah. Look at you guys are like pros. Output device. Um, I think my stuff is actually set up properly. Uh, <laughs> so the fact that people are um, kind of hearing themselves, I, I'm clearly there's something I'm doing that I don't know what it is. Got to figure that one out, Sarah Jones. Um, but oh God. Here's all my stuff set up. I'm just knocking stuff over. <clears throat> you can do your little mic check. See how it shows when I when I hover over it? It shows the green line there. I have it on voice activity. Um, push to talk is nice if you are in a large group setting and you want to make sure that you're not talking over people. It kind of gives you that two second like pause before you start to speak, which is really nice. So you can do that. Um, we used to use this a lot in my my old discord because people just were like blah, 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 all the time talking all over each other it was very very frustrating but i feel like a lot of us are big users of clubhouse and it's like the same thing so um and then we can do video settings i don't have my camera plugged in but um if you do have another camera plugged in you can test your video right here and then these cool things i haven't used yet um because but i will tell you if you do add a background when you use your video camera it will slow your discord down so just know that anytime you add add additional bells and whistles you're just adding you're making it a little bit harder for discord to work so just kind of keep that in mind especially if you're on pc and it might be a little bit sluggish if you have a lot of apps open 
it's just going to make it move a little bit slower. So I kind of, you know, if you're okay with like people seeing your background and everything else, that's cool. Um, blur is probably, probably the one that'll be like the less, it, it, it probably won't make your computer work as hard. You won't have to feed the squirrels as many nuts. So you're good there. And then we got your advanced stuff. I believe these are the default settings. This is like, you know, you probably don't need this, although I have echo cancellation, although it doesn't seem to be working right now. Um, but these are really good to use, especially if you know you're going to be in a room with like a lot of people. Um, so you want to use your echo cancellation and noise reduction, anything that you can do to kind of keep the noise level down, especially if you have voice activity, it's really, really helpful. Um, I noticed earlier today when I, because I was using my, my Yeti mic, you could hear like all the background noise. You probably could also hear my stomach growl and I apologize for that. Um, but these things will help you have a smoother um, time again in Discord. Um, let's see. Audio system. If you have like a, I don't know what any of this audio system is, to be honest. I don't really use any of this. Um, hey, I'm using the latest technology to capture my screen, by the way. So just know that it's the latest technology that Discord has to offer. So if it's a great experience, you can give them a good old thumbs up. Um, everything else, boom, that's about it. Now text and images, same kind of deal. I mean, you guys, if this is like super, um, again, this is like super basic stuff, but um, this is where you go in and you definitely customize your experience. Um, you can, let's see, post... When posted as links to chat, I don't even know what that's asking, to be honest. Oh, display images. Okay, yeah. Sometimes the links will post very weird. I don't know if everybody else has had that experience. Like if you're trying to type a really long text and then you add a picture, it doesn't really it doesn't really post when you want it to. That's one thing I've had to struggle with, to be honest, with Discord. I don't know if anyone else has that. Um, if you do now, this these settings might change a little bit if you do have Discord Nitro. Just saying. But definitely go in and check out these settings, show embeds and preview websites. So I I really like when I am able to add a link and it shows like a little like kind of like header as to what I'm posting. Um, Cause then I know exactly what I'm clicking into. So that is what this, when you turn this on, um, like if I'm, you know, sending something for uh, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, it'll have the, have the hyperlink, but it'll also have like a little header picture. And then I want my emoji reactions on. Um, it'll automatically convert my emoticons. If I didn't want that, if I wanted that old school little smiley face there, I could do that by turning this off but everyone likes the little happy guy, don't we? So we're gonna turn that back on. Um, I want sticker suggestions, cause why not? And again, this is just customizing your experience again. So at your earliest convenience, go in there and check that out. Now notifications is really big, okay? So you do not have to be plagued by every single ding, ding, ding. And if you've noticed, um, well, I, I'm in a ton of discords, but I have all the notifications off. Um, what I realized when I was testing this is that I actually had this on. I had this on. So anytime a message was being sent, and I know I have all the notifications on for vaginas. So when people were texting, I was getting the do 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 do. Okay. That can be totally maddening when you're trying to like record or have a conversation with people and you keep hearing the dings in the background. You ever thought, oh my God, dude, let's like turn them off, right? This is how you turn them off in the notifications. So this just means if you have your desktop top open, now this is not gonna work you know, the same, it should work the same way for mobile, but for desktop, you can be in something and you will not hear any of your notifications. So this is really, really great, especially if you're doing something like this right now, where you're recording a session and you don't want people to keep hearing the beeps. It can be very distracting and annoying. So this is where you would turn those off. You can turn them off right now. If you never want to hear another notification again, then you're good to go. Um, this, I think this is default enable taskbar. I don't, whatever. I don't even use these to be honest with you. I don't really know how important that they are. Um, again, this I don't use text to speech. I haven't used it yet. I haven't actually tried this on computer. I don't know if anybody else has, but um, I assume it's it could be really convenient. Like if you're driving and you want to use voice voice uh, chat, 
I know I use it on mobile all the time. Because you don't want to text and drive, you guys, but you can, like, speak. But then it always spells everything wrong. Who are we kidding? So here's the sounds. Look at Sarah Jones. Is everything turned on? Well, that's why I had to gray everything out at the top. So if you go to your sounds, you can turn things off and you can turn things on. Definite just means that they'll be really, really, they won't be as loud. Um, undefinite, like what's the point here? I don't really know. Um, you can mute them, unmute. All of this stuff. Oh, I see what it is. Okay, so I know what this means. Ha, you guys, I just got really smart while I was teaching you. Hmm. So if you get a message, this means you are going to get a sound. If you click the deafen button, you will not hear a sound when you deafen something. Okay. I like to hear the sound sometimes when I turn something off and on because then I'm like, oh, look at me. I'm like, I know that I did something. Um, so that's what this means. Um, if you mute, you're, you'll hear all the sounds. Boom. So, I have, so again, these are all default. They have to be because you're going to hear every single sound. Discord wants you to hear all the sounds, okay? Um, and then you have your, your normal email notifications. Look, I don't really like getting email notifications, but Discord actually sends out really good stuff. So I keep this stuff on. I don't know why I have this, all this stuff. I don't really need any tips. Do we need tips? No. Boom. So I'm going to turn these off. And you can actually unsubscribe from all marketing emails. How annoying is it to get all 5,000 like marketing emails into your inbox? Boom. This is how you can unsubscribe. Or obviously when they, we're going to do some email 101, guys. When you get an email, you don't want to get the emails from that person anymore. You scroll all the way down in the email that you got. And there should always be an unsubscribe button. If there is not, or a link. If there isn't, ew, they're like gross. We don't deal with those people. But anyways, you can unsubscribe from everything here. All right, key binds. Now, because I am in streamer mode, um, it's not showing everything here. I have some like shortcuts. I think some of these are the default shortcuts, but they come in really handy, especially for like push to talk, for example. Um, if you select a push to talk button, that means on, you know, on your keyboard, you just press that button over and over to like to do something and then undo it. Um, so this is where you would set those key binds. Does everyone know what a key bind is? All right, it's cool. All right. Um, no, I do not. Okay, so a key bind just means that you are picking like your favorite, easy, most convenient key to use to tap something on or off. For instance, if we were setting up a push to talk button and um, you were here, you didn't, you don't want to always have to go into your settings to like find it to turn it on and off again, right? you add a key bind, which means you click this button here, and then you select a key that you want to be your favorite most used keys, something that you're gonna remember easily that you can use. So I'll just use control. I think that's already assigned. So I use my left control button. And so anytime I wanna talk, I just remember to push down my left control button and hold it down to talk, and then I release it. So it just means that you're selecting an easy to use key on your keyboard for convenience, basically, to use as a one tap instead of having to constantly go into your settings and use things and, um, you know, turn things on and off constantly. Does that make sense? Did I just like make it like ridiculous? <laughs> so it's you're just binding a key for your easy convenience. A keyboard key, that is. And so right here, if you scroll through, it's showing you some of the um, automatic keys that you probably didn't know. So if you're using Discord, um, let's see. Oh, God, I don't want to, like, accidentally delete something. Um, Control-C. I think we all kind of know that. So if you want to, you know, copy something, you just hit Control-C. It's giving you all these really, this is actually really helpful because I have not used any of these, and some of these I just don't know. Mark as unread. So if you read a message and you want to mark it as unread, you just hit the Alt key and enter at the same time. Um, just little things like this, little hints. Um, and if you if you're like, ah, oh, well, these are like too hard to remember. I don't. These don't make any sense to me. You can actually customize them, or you can create your own right here. Boom. And this is where you would do it. And so it gives you all the different actions. So push to talk. So push to talk. Let's see. I'm going to record my keybind push to talk will be, let's see, um, 
alt key left alt key boom so that's what i just did so if i set my um if i went and set my settings at push to talk i would just use my left alt key every time i wanted to to talk to you guys and it stays with you forever and if you decide eh, i don't really want it anymore I'm, i think i'm fine with the defaults you just delete it right there boom and then you're good now language comes in handy um i speak english so i want everything in english but you can actually customize it so if somebody were to go into v friends for instance or actually we're in vaginas we are in vaginas so if somebody came in and they wanted to read something in another language which is not english then they, they would come here and they would select whatever english or whatever english oh my gosh sarah whatever language is their chosen language and everything will show up in that language which is super cool um window settings um so one thing i don't know if everybody has this but um i when when you turn off your comp when you turn on your computer i believe discord defaults um it will it will automatically open up when you open your computer so if you are frustrated by that here's where you change that um, the reason I disable it is because it just, you know, my computer takes a long time already to kind of get started and open up. The more things you have open on the startup of your computer, the slower it will be, the more sluggish it will be. So to help ease that, I have this turned off. This means that when I turn on my computer, Discord will not open up. I will open up it whenever I want it open. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Um, it will really save resources on your computer. It'll make it start up a little bit faster. And so start minimized. Um, so if I had this turned on here, then I can use this down here. And what that means is it may not pop up onto your screen, but it'll show up in your little tray down here. Well, you can't see it because I'm only showing my Discord, but it'll show up in your little open um, apps tray on the bottom right hand side of your computer screen. So I'm gonna turn that back off, minimize to tray. So what this means is when I X out, and by X out, I just mean going to the top of Discord and Xing out, that's not the same as logging out. That just means I'm Xing it out, I don't want it covering my screen, and it's going to minimize to the tray right here. So that means every time I, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Sarah, sorry. I'm don't so be sorry. sorry but I haven't got a window setting on oh. my Discord. Oh, are you on PC? Yes, I'm on an iMac. Does, should that make any difference? Oh, maybe that's why. That that might be why, actually. Because I was like, I was following everything along. I'm doing all the oh. things. And then... You know what? This is actually, this is good learning for me. There should be some kind of setting. I'm assuming that if you're on a Mac, there should be some area that shows all the open apps that you have um now windows defaults to like a, you know the little little tray and it has like this little little square and it'll show like all the little things i wish i could show it but it won't show that screen um under language what does it have for you pam it has language select a language and has all the list of language and then it's streamer mode and above okay. it is key bangs. okay so that's it okay so that was really good. So Windows settings, you only have Windows settings if you're on a computer that has Windows. How about that? We just learned something new today, class. Very good. <laughs> We're all so smart. Look at us go. So I don't know. That's a good, um, if anybody else has a Mac who knows that answer. But I think it, I think it may just default anyway. It may just minimize. Awesome. Thank you so much. Sorry for, sorry for. Don't be sorry. Your, That's your... what this is all about. I want everybody to like jump in and you're probably all falling asleep and I feel really bad, but like, this is what basic is, baby. It's not going to be all bells and whistles and fun, but we can make it fun. So again, streamer mode. 
So streamer mode is very important again when you're sharing your screen. You do not want to give out your account and user profile and authorized apps and connections information to just any Joe Schmo off the street. That is the truth. Not that I think you guys are Joe Schmoes. I love you all very much. But you do not want to show your account settings. So the way to protect yourself if you're sharing your screen is to go into streamer mode. And it's very easy to enable and disable. You can do it again. You can do a key bind, which we learned um, earlier. We can key bind... Um, whatever it is i was trying to use control but stupid me it was already default to control so i was like why isn't it working because i was trying to like override it with a stupid key that already existed <laughs> so good you're with a professional here everybody um so enabling streamer mode um allows you to have that privacy when you're sharing your screen um now I do stream when I game so this comes in very handy if I happen to have discord up it will not give all my stuff away so here's what it does hides your hides personal information boom you always want to check this off you do not want people to see your information especially if you're like sharing your screen if you happen to actually accidentally misclick and somebody sees your shit you're in big trouble now they have access to everything and this was something that those little scammers used to try to do when they would video call people they would hope they would say okay walk me through your account settings i think that's what they were doing is they were like oh we know that there's a problem let me help walk you through your account settings and then they'd steal your information then they'd boot you out of your own discord and then you'd lose it then you're done for so you know when in doubt like first off do not share your screens with strangers as what i'm doing today but if you have to if for some reason you need to, you want to go into streamer mode because it will protect everything about your account. All right. So, um, see, I have my, my sounds disabled, so nothing's going to show up here. No sounds should, should come up while I'm streaming, which is actually working quite nicely. So I think we're pretty good. Advanced. I'm not advanced. Okay. We do not need, I do not need any access to this. Feel free to go into advanced if you are advanced activity status <clears throat> this is cool because right here you can display if you're playing certain games so um your your discord or computer will actually be able to detect whatever games you're playing and it will show underneath your name <clears throat> under your status it'll show if you're playing a certain game or whatnot and then you have little overlays tied to it so you can select all of these things if you want um it used to be really funny when I was in the guild. Um, one of the one of the main guild masters was very much like, no, 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 we do not want other people playing other games other than World of Warcraft in our Discord. Absolutely not. They will be banned. So what people used to do is they would turn their activity status off. They would sit in chats with each other and then they would play like, you know, um, Dungeons and Dragons or something or actually that wouldn't show up would it um but they would turn shit off because they didn't want anybody to know i think PUBG was the game at the time they would turn off their status because they didn't want anybody to kick them out of discord like can you imagine that i can't even believe i i can't even believe i used to follow those rules you guys but anyways be loud and proud about what you're playing let everybody know because you never know you might find a new friend so this is where you turn it on so other people can see what you're up to in a good way in a good way um game overlay this just means that whatever you're playing will show up um, on, uh, like if you're streaming, for instance, your voice chats, your face will show up on the stream and all that. So you can have a large avatar, small. I don't really like it. Again, that's something that would slow my computer down. And Lord knows I really didn't need any help with that because I had a potato at the time. So I just automatically default turning these off. This may not apply to you. That's okay. We can kind of skip this part but if you're a gamer definitely look into these um i do not like my name showing up on on streams or anything like that so i always turn this stuff off and that's that that is that those are our settings you guys so i think we did pretty good i i hope it wasn't you know super boring for everybody i really appreciate you being here um you know, I did want to go over a couple things. So if, if, does anybody have any questions or something that you want to kind of like walk through? Or you're like, gee, sorry, I really wish you taught us, blah. A question, and it is like, when you cut into some of these discords, they have like the little bots set up to authenticate you. 
how can you tell when those are real versus a scam? Oh, that's hard. I don't really like those bots for that reason. Um, I don't know. I, I think, I think for me, I would just kind of, um, I kind of, I don't know. It's, does anybody have any, any advice for Jenny on that? I, I'm hesitant because like I tend to, and this is going to sound really bad. I, I tend to trust whatever server I'm in, which I will not, I will not connect my wallet to a lot of shit. Um, for the roles, the, for the roles, it should be okay. I'm more familiar with like Carlbot or MeBot um, or MeSexBot because those are directly from Discord bots. The, the, the confusion comes in when um, people start to create their own. And then it becomes like, uh, Pamela, my love, did you have yeah. like a? Yeah. Um, so in relation to, um, oh, I can hear myself talking back. Oh, do you know why? Because I'm on the computer and the phone. That is shocking. How long to get out of there? Is that better? Probably not. Anyway. You sound so fine. Basically, I, I use Carbot, MeBot, and, and all the other ones, but... Um, the capture bot I have recently started using, and I'll tell you why, because it adds that extra level of security um, getting into the discords, and I think that's why there's that mass adoption of using the capture bot. But I notice that if I'm on my desktop, I cannot um, access another server if they have the capture bot turned on. Um, so for me, uh, I have to always do it on my mobile. I don't know why that is, whether it's um, Apple or iMac preventing me and, and protecting me from accessing the capture bot. But whenever I do it on my phone, it works absolutely fine. I understand why people use it. I really do because it is that extra level of security. And I think if you set it up yourself for your own Discord, maybe I'm talking from the wrong side. I should be talking about the user side of it. As a user, yeah, I I find it hard to use on a desktop, but easier to use on a phone because I can get bypass it on a phone, not bypass it, but you know, utilize it. But what's the problem exactly that you're having with a capture? Are you just scared that it's a, it's um like it's a bot that's coming in to basically steal all your information? Is that what you mean? Yeah, I haven't had any specific issues yet, but I've just heard other people talking about scams that they've encountered. Yeah, well, what I always do too is anybody invites me to a Discord, I do my own wee bit of doubling up. I used to be a cop, so I, I always check out who they are first. And then sometimes I ask the actual founders or people who have talked about, if you go into Twitter, Instagram, you will usually find a link to a Discord. And then if you click on that Discord and the capture bot comes up and you've got concerns, what I do straight away, and I did it last night, is I message the founder and I say, hey, I'm trying to get access to your Discord, but um, this is happening. I just want to confirm I have the correct link. And can, can you confirm that when I'm in there, it is actually genuine? So I just double up. I don't know if that's helpful or not. You crack me up. Yeah. What? <laughs> I would say that um I I personally if some if somebody is asking if so, if there's a bot asking you to like claim your role, I would say f that. I wouldn't even select it just to be wary. Um like Collabland I think is legit. Um but again when you're collect when you're connecting a wallet, oh that gets a little scary. So if somebody's asking you to select roles via bot, I would say nope. I think what a lot of people have started to do is create um, uh, little, um, I don't know, little text messages, and then you um, just respond with an, uh, an emoji, and then you get assigned a role. And I think that's safe, because those are coming directly from Discord for the most part, or a very good um, third-party source that is supported by uh, Discord. So you should be pretty safe as far as that goes. Wait, I haven't had any coffee this morning. I'm having a pair uh -oh. of tea. What time Thanks. is it there? 
It is now 11 a.m. Oh, you're good. And it's Saturday, so it's perfect. It's time for a croissant or something. Uh, well, I just had a wee bagel. I had <laughs> some avocado. It was lovely. Perfect. I love it. So one thing I wanted um, to share you guys, and you probably already know how to use text channels, but just like kind of quick um, overview. And, and I'm just going to take like five more minutes of your time. You can go if you need to. You do not have to stay. Because um, I do know that BFF is doing a special Twitter spaces tonight, actually. Um, so if you want to check that out. But, um, you know, most servers will have a, a bevy. I saw that word in something recently, and I just loved it. A bevy. Um, we'll have... Uh, text rooms and not a lot of voice chats um, but mostly when you when you join a server you will have to either agree to rules right off the bat or there will be a room a little text channel in like a welcome area that has the rules so make sure you always look for those there should always be or, or mostly always there's a welcome channel like in the vaginas we'll just walk through this we have a little welcome channel here so if you're new to the server this is where you can see all the people this is open to everybody so you can see everybody that's joined and you can say hi to them you can't this is a read only channel so if you wanted to say hi and tag somebody in the um the general chat you can go ahead and do that what um i tried to do when i set up the server was make sure that every single channel has some kind of you know if it's not self-explanatory it has kind of a um a uh a how-to so this is really it's self-explanatory welcome new vjjs and then i put the discord link in here so you can also use this link um over and over again if you wanted to invite your friends about vaginas there's a every discord has an about channel and if they don't they're missing out they should have an about or some kind of informational channel so um again here's like a welcome i try to explain you know what this channel is and then we have um some really pertinent information, give an overview of what is vaginas. We have a link to all of our socials. We have our clubhouse and our discord link. Now this discord link, this means that you don't, you know, a lot of people want to share the servers and we appreciate that. And you can certainly make your own links, but we do have a static link that you can use over and over again. It'll never expire. So you can use this link too. If you ever wanted to invite somebody, you didn't want to make your own link. You can just come into this channel, copy and paste to send it to somebody. Same with clubhouse. And then, um, and then that's it. And, um, you know, I try to make everything very clean and self-explanatory. You know, I tried to make the discord training channel right up here. Um, so everybody could see it and just quickly join the room. And then we have our other text channels and everything has a, uh, a little explanation on top. It's so weird seeing this from desktop. I'm so used to using it on mobile. So it's weird. So here's our spotlight on vaginas and has information. Another really good thing, um, and you get the gist. So if you look on the right hand side here, you'll see that every title in our server is split out separately. So you'll see the um, the admins, which are our queen bees, um, our V dazzled, that those are um, our spotlight people. They are a different color and they are, they are listed separately. And then we have our OG VJs and then we have our VJJs. So, um, so if you're ever like, I don't know who to talk to, who are the admins? I mean, you guys probably already know this here, but um, most servers should have everything split up the same way. Um, and they're hierarchical, hi hi hierarchical. Did I even say that right? So um, if you're ever looking for an admin or, or a moderator of some sorts, it's usually the very top role of that server on the right hand side. So if you're ever confused and you just don't know who to talk to and you, you join a server and you're like, holy crap, I'm so stuck, just message somebody. Boom. So make sure you use this as your tool. It's really, really helpful. Um, there are, I've seen some servers where they don't split it up and it's just mass chaos. Um, but if they're set up correctly, all the admins and moderators should be close to the top. So you're always able to find somebody. And so I think that concludes our training session of this evening. I appreciate once again, you all sticking with me. I love you. Thank you for your support. Um, I have not gotten my POAP links. Please, please, please um, shoot me a DM if you wouldn't mind. My DMs are open. Just say, hey, give me my POAP. And um, as soon as I get the links, I will certainly send you the POAPs. And if you have any other questions as you go through your Discord experience, I may not be a pro, but I will do whatever I can. And I promise you, I will help you. I promise, promise, promise. Whatever I can do to help you, I will. Um, I invite you to bring your friends, family, 
If you'd like me to have some other thing like this again, if you have recommendations, please, I'm very, very open. Send me suggestions. Um, I, I really, really want to help. I want to make Discord more comfortable and I want people to be able to join it and not feel like things are being thrown at them left and right all the time. So that is why I'm in this space and that is why I'm here tonight. And again, I really appreciate you all.